Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts shooting a quick video on how to uh, take a look at your objects to prevent uh, problems later. Uh, mainly trapped air, uh, distortion, uh, under and over activation, those are separate issues and we could spend hours on those. But right now we're taking a look at your approach and how to decide um, how you're going to dip something and minimize uh, touch up, voids, blowout, stuff like that. So I've shot a couple videos on this but we have some pretty unique objects coming in and out of our shop lately that uh, I think that will help you guys because they're so unique and they're different and there's a lot of problem areas. So uh, before we get started, have a little Corona for the haters or Takati lately. Okay, good to go. All right, this is the center console for a razor. There's really no right or wrong way to dip this thing because this has got just about everything that can go wrong um, in one single dip. So you're going to have stretch down the sides. This thing's about 10 inches uh, throughout. So you're going to have a little bit of stretch there or a lot depending on the film. Okay, you've got cups and you're going to uh, stretch inside these because once you hit the pattern here, uh, you've, it's not going to keep going down here. It's going to void out after about a half inch, three quarters of an inch and distort in there. Um, and I shot a video on how to touch those up, so if you don't, uh, if you haven't seen it, go back and look at it. Alright, uh, you're going to want to back tape these areas because the pattern is going to want to suck in and as it goes in, it's going to pull pattern and you're going to get some distortion. So you're going to have to back tape these, you're going to want to back tape the sides, back tape the edges, uh, so you don't have little voids down there uh, where the pattern tears. But the main thing I want to talk to you guys about is your approach. So uh, when you go into the water, you're going to go in about a 30 to 45 degree angle as you go in to prevent air from getting trapped. But the problem becomes, you know, that's fine if it's a flat object, if it's a plate, you know, <laughs> but if it's something like a bowl where it's going to catch air, and this is where you guys need to start thinking about things like this. So you're coming in like this, yeah granted this is a 45 degree angle and that's cool but guess what happens at this angle, this is almost flat to the water. Now you're going to trap air in these areas, you know, and then fine it'll flow out back here. What's going to be seen? So you may want to come in at this angle, a little bit steeper, get the air out here, make it flow. And then maybe trap a little air here. This is going to be tough. It depends on you and your skill set because you can rotate. But if you rotate right here, remember that your carbon fiber is going to rotate here as you go in. Okay? Um, you're going to trap no air here. So that may be a pretty good angle approach. Or if you're good on touch up, you may want to come in this way, try to avoid all that, and maybe hit it all the way through. Um, it's probably going to look a little bit better in here because this is the first part where you're hitting the pattern. So that's a possibility too. Alright, so there's another cup holder. Now this one presents some pretty unique challenges as well because like that one, um, you've got a change of angle in here, but this one you're going to trap air. So if you come in this way, right in here, you're going to trap air on both sides. There's just no way around it. So you may want to, on this particular one, come in this way. But what happens here? Now you're trapping air here. So you may want to flatten out. Now once you get into this area, maybe rotate as you're dipping. So come in, rotate a little bit to get that air out of here and come back in. Uh, that's a, a, a more of an advanced technique, but it can be done. I mean, uh, you may want to rock the pattern as you're going in. Again, you got to work on your skill sets. This isn't just taking something and slamming it in a bucket and hoping it comes out well. You've, especially when you get into some of these 
more advanced parts. Uh, say this hood, you know, um, you, you come in this way, uh, it's probably the best approach here is to come in like this, back tape these holes so water doesn't come and shoot out onto the pattern and then destroy your dip. This way, if you came in, you would trap air almost invariably right in here. So the approach on this one, you might want to do it this way. So anyhow, those are some, some areas that I see a lot of guys fail in and you've got to get your head around what we do. Uh, taking the, the part, turning it upside down in your mind's eye if you will. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do. It takes time to figure it out, uh, but it can be done. It's, it's, it's one of the tougher things to do because um, sometimes when you get difficult objects and you guys go in the tank and you really don't know what to expect. And it's fine if you fail, but you also need to know what did I do wrong? How did this dip go wrong? Whether it's a, a blowout, a void, trapped air, whatever it is. Make a decision. Can you fix it? Maybe. Uh, touch up. Everybody's got a little bit of touch up. Nobody's immune. Nobody's perfect. But uh, if it's to a point where you can't touch it up and you got to redip, then how do you avoid that, pack, that, that same problem popping back up next time you go in? You have to be able to identify these things. Anyhow, that's it for this one. Uh, it's a good video. I, I think it's very informative. Join us on the forum k2forums.com. You can email me, k2forums at gmail.com. Uh, any activator guns, activator other supplies, go to k2shoponline.com. Um, besides that, again, a little pro for the haters. Or Takati. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day, Dipper. We'll talk to you later.